very excited to show you guys what we got. Our new Harvest Right freeze dryer with the Premier Pump. Uh, it's a medium size. So we're going to do a quick unboxing. Jace just set up this station for me. We bought this used stainless table. He cleaned it all up and it's got shelving under it so that we can have a new Harvest Right uh, station kind of prep station here. We're going to get um, my dad to help make a cutting board maybe for covering over the hole here. Um, and uh, we've got peppers and sweet potatoes lined up here. And on the bread totes, we've got uh, onions drying. And the bottom rack actually are already dry. We've got more onions uh, that we have on the porch that we'll be bringing in here as well. So with that, we're going to do the unboxing. All right. So... This is all the accessory stuff that came with it. And the first thing is the Mylar bags. So this is what you're gonna put everything in once you freeze dry it. Um, next is the Harvest Right oil filter. So the pump has oil in it and the oil needs to be um, filtered every once in a while. So. Uh, they give you this when you buy the freeze dryer. The older freeze dry models had to get oil changed almost every batch or something like that, so this shouldn't be so bad. So this is the impulse sealer, so this is how you seal up the Mylar bags. So a vacuum sealer? It's not a vacuum sealer, it's, it's, it's just, just a, a, seal? a sealer. So this thing, I've heard, is pretty darn... Uh, heavy duty. It seems like it is very heavy. Yeah, we've got the vacuum sealer inside. So this is pretty nice. This is a commercial grade sealer. It's pretty cool. So I'm assuming maybe some of this peels off, but okay. That's pretty cool. So part of the reason we wanted to do the unboxing tonight too was that we've been watching a lot of the Retired at 40 channel and he sells some of the accessories as well. So this is the oxygen absorbers. So after you uh, freeze dry everything, you gotta put the oxygen absorbers in there to make sure um, you know that, that all the, the food that you're uh, freeze drying stays dry. Yeah gets all the moisture out. But when you open those packs, what we've been learning is um, you need to reseal them instantly because within 10 minutes of being open to the air, they'll go bad or not not be effective anymore. Okay, so these, um, one of them is the vacuum hose, one of them is the drain hose, and then uh, the uh, power. power ports. And thankfully we have an outlet right here. Um, Troubleshooting, owner's manual, and guide to freeze drying. Yep, Oops. nice. And we did get an email with a bunch of documents as well when we bought this. Um, we did buy additional accessories when we ordered, so not all of this comes automatically with the medium freeze dryer. So that's uh, four medium trays. Here's another four medium trays. So these are skinnier than I was imagining. Um, so the large model, they're much wider. Much wider, yeah. But What's it? Is this what, like eight inches? Yeah. Um, we went back and forth about the the size, the size, and the larger size is significantly more money. I mean, it's yeah. an extra thousand dollars. So we wanted to start with this. We're pretty confident that it's going to be easy to upgrade if we want to get another one I'm sure we'll be able to sell it so and then uh, snap on lids yep for the this was an add-on which we actually now realize we might have wanted to buy the ex snap on lids from the um, retired, retired at 40 because they have the corner seals that would have made it better for stacking them and, and carrying them in and out of the house um, we're out here in our big garage and here's the big piece. This is the premier pump. So, 
And what does this say? Stop. Please contact Harvest Right with all inquiries. Okay. <laughs> so that's box one. All right, so we're going to have to get something to cut this with. So again, this comes with the Premier Pump, the previous models. Uh, the Premier Pump was an option, um, and the other pumps were definitely not as nice. They uh, were a lot noisier, not as efficient, and um, you had to change the oil a lot. So this one should be a little bit better. tipped over inside that box, so must not have been. So you see we got a little bit of leakage there. So yeah. we'll have to clean it they up. They said it always has to stay level at all times. My guess is it didn't. Yep. And shipping, so take some cleaning. Yep. This does come with other oil. It's got the bottle here. And uh, I think Jay's going to grab some rags real quick. That kind of sucks that it's all... So while Jay is cleaning this, um, some of the things we we're looking at, the um, other accessories we might order from Retired at 40 were the uh, corner, stacking corners that kind of lock the trays together. So carrying four trays will be a lot easier. Um, there's other lids. And then he also has um, pre-cut parchment. And I think we got, might have ordered the Scylla. Did we order the silicone mats or not? We must not have because I don't see them. Yeah, I don't see them either. I swear we had put them in the cart. So I'll have to double check that. Um, but uh, silicone mat mats and parchment are going to be your friend from what everything we've been watching on online. We have silicone mats. We have the, no, we have the um, parchment. We're just going to have to cut it. Yeah, we have, we've got full cookie sheet parchment. So... Um, the King Arthur ones, right, and we have the cheap ones too, actually. That's better. Okay. So. Okay, so it looks like we got a quart of oil. And I guess it, it only takes um, like three quarters of this, maybe. And... <laughs> You're just going to fill it between the minimum and the maximum. Okay. <laughs> the bunnies are all coming out, so Bertie's excited. Sure, that's that one. All right. And they say to plug it in, run it for a little bit, and then refill it if it gets any lower. So. Okay. We'll just put our little vent back on. I didn't know that was a vent. And there you go. All right, and so when we move this to its actual space spot for where we're going to store it, we need to just really make sure that it doesn't tip over at all. Right. So this is just going to go right beside the machine, 
and uh, probably don't need to film taking it out of the box. <laughs> yeah. We'll come back once we get it up on the table. <laughs> So we were able to get this unboxed and lifted. It was rather heavy. Um, definitely suggest two people and two strong people. A uh, little on the edge for me. Um, so now we have, right now we have this squared off, um, but because of the placement, we may end up, um, and the way the door swings open, um, we may kitty corner it slightly to allow a better uh, angle for putting it in the trays, but that'll be a trial and error. Um, we do have the pump over here uh, next to it as well. So, I'm going to show you guys the workstation here. So, this here is the drain. So, um, they say to pull this thing out, you get it, and add your drain hose. And we're going to need to get our bucket, and, right? Yep, and you got to put a bucket. So you're just going to push this on and you're going to put a bucket on the floor or something so that once, um, you know, your, your drain cycle happens. Um, when the thing's running, you want it to be closed, but at the end you're going to open it up and it's going to, it's going to let all the pressure out. So then, um, this is your hose. So if you look at the pump here, around over it's here. kind of hard to see. There's a little yep. spot there and spot here. And we might have to adjust this a little so we have room to put this up. Just screw this in and make sure it's tight. Um, you don't want to use any tools on it, just make sure hand it's tight. hand tight. Uh, and then same thing over here. And next thing, if you want to come over behind, yep. I'll show you. So there's a plug here, and that's where the pump goes. So when this is plugged in, um, and then you plug the, the harvest right in, um, the harvest right's going to control the pump turning on and off. Just like a computer monitor. Yep. So then if you look over here, there's an on switch there. And you just leave that on all the time. Okay. After you have it plugged in, it doesn't really matter. Yep. And then this is going to plug in here. And we're just going to plug it into the wall over here. We might make some changes there. But for now, this is going to work. Yep. I'm going to make it so the door doesn't open. Into yeah, the cords. We'll have, we'll have to fix that, but <laughs> as you're running in and out doing the mill. <laughs> yep. Great. It's pretty simple. Only three things to plug in, which is not bad at all. And this was stuck in the door. So, so before it went out, they checked all that thing and VH checked everything. So. JH or VH? Yeah, it looks kind of like. Or or you. <laughs> I don't know. Could be. Any but of thank them. you, buddy. Whoever you are. <laughs> So um, the only other thing we really need to do is get that bucket to make sure we're all set there. You can see uh, sweet potatoes and our peppers that are ready to get cut up. So when we get the cutting board on this table, I'll be able to do all the prep work right here and uh, put the trays in. So they say when you first get this thing to pull off the seal. Yeah, actually one of the videos was saying to it. to do pull the seal they pull the seal off every single time and this is where the trays go and if you look inside there's heating elements in the bottom so i just want to make sure that this thing is plugged in which i'm assuming it is but yeah so that just pushes in like that and it should be angled we should check the level it's supposed to be leveled backwards right yes so, so a slight angle to the back Depending on how level it is here, we yeah. have to make some uh, tweaks. Some tweaks to it. Yeah. So we'll wash this seal and we'll be back. Okay, so um, Erica's 
pretty tired out, so she asked me to take some video of what I was doing with the freeze dryer. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do the bread run and do a couple of testing things so that it should be ready to go for tomorrow. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to freeze dryer. As you can see, it's turned on. And we're going to go to this page here. And we're going to turn on pressure freeze. And we're going to let this run for a half an hour. And I'll be back in a half an hour. Okay, so 30 minutes exactly. So we're going to go ahead and shut this off there and we're going to go ahead and turn on the vacuum pump and we're going to let that sit for a while until our pressure gets down to um, about 500 so we'll be back okay so we ended up with some technical difficulties um, couldn't get it to pass the vacuum test. Finally, after lots of um, working on it, I got it so it passed the vacuum test and now I am starting the bread test or the bread run, which is going to take a lot of the smell out of the machine and hopefully we can make a good run tomorrow. Uh, we'll keep you updated. So Jace was able to get the bread run going last night. So, I'll show you guys. Here, the top number, the nine, minute, uh, nine hours, 36 minutes, is counting up on the top right. And uh, it's the time it's been running, and then the time drawing there. You can see it's almost done. This is just part of the setup process that the instructions say to go through. Um, we use water. Some people online had said they use vinegar, but we followed the manufacturer's instructions instead of making changes. Um, so you kind of spritz the or soak the bread. This is to uh, help with, I guess, the test run, but it also, for the bread, helps pull um, some of that new car smell, is how I've heard it described out of the freeze dryer. So the next run we'll be doing, I think you're gonna do candy because it's an, a short run, easy test to see how it's going. So we bought some candy yesterday and we're gonna see how that goes. Um, but then we get to get into the fun stuff, which I have down here, the peppers and potatoes. And we've got garlic and onions that so we wanna make garlic and onion powder. I've got celery out in the garden to make celery powder or celery salt. Um, and I think I'm going apple picking next week, so we'll have apples we'll want to do as well. So, lots coming, but uh, we'll check back in in a little bit. So, the bread run is now complete. And the screen shows that it took 11 hours and 20 minutes here. So we are now going to take the bread out and we did buy an extra set of trays. So we have four trays here with um, parchment and we're going to actually do a candy batch next. So we'll do another video for that coming soon. Nothing really came out from the hose. Seems pretty dry. <laughs> I think it's done. We brought out one of the kitchen cutting boards that my dad had made us. 
And I was talking to him last night about making a bigger one. So this bread just gets thrown out. Uh, not really usable. And seems like it ran pretty good. So uh, we are now ready to actually start freeze drying things. So we thought a candy batch, there seems to be a shorter amount of time um, from what we've seen online to do those. Would be a good real test run with real food um, before we actually start on our garden produce. Uh, thanks for watching and I will create a new YouTube playlist for our Harvest Right uh, freeze drying journey. Uh, I hope you guys follow along and let us know if you have something that you always wanted to try in the freeze dryer. Um, the, oh, the other thing I wanted to mention was when we were buying this freeze dryer and talked about the uses, um, we thought it'd be really important to um, understand how we would use it and what we'd use it for. And so we did a bunch of research on that. And we're not trying to store food for 20, 30 years. We're trying to uh, store produce over the winter for, uh, until next season. So it's a little bit of a different type of use um, where you want to make seasonings. Um, Jay wants a bunch of snacks, including some of the candy stuff. But, but really, we're really excited about the sweet potato chips and the carrot chips and uh, pepper chips and tomato chips and all of those type of things. Making tomato powder and celery powder, onion and garlic powders, which we're really excited about. Being able to use our own grown uh, I've got some down here ready and staged. Um, so those are the things that we're really excited about. Um, we're going to try some green beans also. Um, we switched the dogs off of dog bones because of one of them's food allergies. So we are going to try to, um, we have a lot of green beans in the freezer, taking up a lot of space for the season. And so we were thinking about freeze drying those so we can have them in the cookie jar on the counter again. Yeah, I don't think the candy is going to be a regular thing in here. I think that it's just... <laughs> That's just a fun it's going to novelty. It's fun to try, and it's something that if it gets, if it fails... It's not, not a loss. Like our nice homegrown produce, so... Yeah. We're yeah. going to try it as being the first run. And for me, like she said, I, I like snacks, but, you know, healthier snacks would be nice like you know sweet potato chips and things like that or green bean uh chips or things like that or apple chips oh yeah apple stuff, chips yeah that that i can have on the go that i can eat that's not bad for you <laughs> not convenient store style on the traveling yeah. so so that's one of the main purposes we've purchased this um we are going to do the freeze-dried ice cream of course the astronaut ice cream because it Again, just to try. Just it. for fun. Just Look for at fun. that smile. Yeah, yeah. But again, not not the purpose of this thing. No. We're you know we we're not junk food junkies. We just <laughs> wanted to try it at first just to see what it was like because it's cool. Yeah. I just have really fond memories of the astronaut ice cream when I was a kid. So. Yeah. Yeah. So we got some ice cream sandwiches yesterday, so we can try that too. So um, one side note. So when we do our next um, our next load. You just gotta hit start and it's gonna cool the chamber first. So while we're getting the food ready to go in, we might as well let that run. Okay, all right. So I will be posting the Skittles and we've got Skittles, candy corn, um, Starburst for this candy run. So I will post a video for that um, sometime probably midweek. And uh, as we get going, we will then go right into, I think, Potentially apples might be next, but it might be some sweet potatoes. Um, we plan on doing some seasoning on those too, so that it's not just the plain fruit. So it'll be a, um, barbecue rubs and sugars and different things. So uh, stay tuned. Hopefully you guys get uh, uh, excited about this too. And if you have one, we wanna know what, what's your favorite thing to freeze dry. So thanks for watching.